few weeks ago, Tesla announced that there's a global staff cut of 10%. And uh, the most significantly impacted is the supercharger team in Korea. This came as a shock because uh, in the first quarter, Tesla's sales were in fact down. But its uh, development in China, in terms of being allowed to use a certain data gathering and self-driving software, is uh, approved by the Chinese government, which actually made its share price jump again. I think it's really quite significant that uh, Tesla has discovered that despite its uh, first to the market, its uh, grand global position, it's being impacted by the Chinese EV manufacturers quite significantly as well. And uh, the competition is now causing Tesla to have financial issues as well. I think what we see is that uh, the EV industry in China has developed so quickly and it's become so advanced that uh, even Tesla, first to market, supposedly the most sophisticated technology in EV, is confronting competition and is having difficulty in this supremely competitive market. So things will have to change, like what the Germans are doing, or the French, the automakers in Germany and the French automakers are now looking at teaming up with the Chinese manufacturers, be partners. The Germans in particular, they have branding, they have distribution, they have after-sales service, global network, but uh, they've come to the conclusion that they cannot compete or they cannot catch up anytime soon to the Chinese EV makers. So they will team up and uh, collaborate or even think about acquisition of some of the Chinese EV manufacturers. I think uh, Tesla's case, this will happen as well. I think Tesla will actually also team up with the Chinese manufacturers. The Chinese EV business is going to become a global one, even though its home base is China, but uh, it's going to collaborate with the EV manufacturers from the U.S., probably less from the U.S., but from Europe, certainly that will happen. That's a good thing. Look at what happened to BYD. BYD is uh, planning to build a EV assembly facility in Korea. Uh, Korea has a, a free trade agreement with a number of countries, including the United States. This way, Korean-made EVs uh, may be able to go to the U.S., without being subject to this 100% tax that Biden administration just put up against Chinese EV. And uh, BYD is in negotiations with the Korean side to put this up. Korean Foreign Ministry sent a big team to come to look at cooperation with China, how to improve the relationship between the two sides. There's the political side, there's now the commercial side. So if this happens, it will be good for American consumers to benefit from the most advanced technologies in China of EV, which is now probably the most advanced on a global basis. Also, the Korean side, the Korean auto manufacturers would not once again be beaten down by their Chinese competitors in another field, namely the EV field. I think potentially this will also enhance the political stability of the Korean Peninsula with China and South Korea relationship is improved. I think it's high time that uh, the Korean government looks at its own interest instead of following the U.S. dictate and uh, cooperate and collaborate with China on joint development.